Hey Canucks fans, hope you're well. Hope you're recovering from the big 4 0 win last night. The Canucks over the Florida Panthers and Roberto Luongo taking his place in the ring of honor. Some very, very, very minor news to report, but it is a trade that Patrick Alvin, another trade that he has pulled off. This one probably not going to move the needle, but still significant in that there's, uh, there's assets moving. And in particular, the Canucks receive a draft pick. So the Canucks traded away to San Jose for Jack Stadnika. And in return, we get defenseman Nick Chichek and a sixth round pick in the 2024 NHL entry draft. So again, Stadnika going to San Jose for an, for defenseman Nick Chichik and a sixth round pick in the upcoming 2024 NHL draft. Let's just break this down very quickly. On the surface, it's not going to make much of a difference. Stadnika was in Abbotsford. He, after starting the season, he was playing in Abbotsford. Uh, Chichik will not uh, even come to the Canucks, uh, the Vancouver side. He's going to, he's signed to be a depth defenseman in Abbotsford. I think maybe low key, the key, in, in this trade is the sixth round pick. And yes, it's not a first, it's not a second, it's not even a third. It's a sixth round pick. But these sixth round picks, you can look at them as either lottery tickets where you never know who you're going to hit or probably more appropriately, um, they are going to be used as assets in trades for 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 players, whether you are doing rentals um, um, and throwing in assets or throwing in Basically, a uh, six-round pick is a future. It's uh, whether you call it a future consideration, whatever it is. But you can never go wrong with having more draft picks, early round, late round. Uh, of course, the early rounds are worth more. But even these later rounds are, are really, if you're trying to seal a deal or trying to add a sweetener or just a little something to help get a deal over the finish line, then a, a, something like a six-round pick can be very relevant. So let's talk about Jack Sneaker first. He got traded to the Vancouver Canucks. Back on, uh, it's actually just over a year ago, October 28th, 2022. And he came to the Canucks from Boston. And he, he, in return, the Canucks gave up Michael DiPietro and defenseman Jonathan Myrenberg. I'm not sure what DiPietro and Myrenberg are up to. So um, I guess technically this this deal is now DiPietro and Myrenberg for Chichek and a six-round pick in 2024. But Stanika, we know, was a second-round uh, second pick by Boston way back in 2017 when he was drafted, 53rd overall. And he, uh, when he came over, he had played very few games in Boston, uh, two games in a season 20, 15 in the one. Then he played last year, 47 games for the Canucks, over half, had four goals, four assists, eight points, minus 11 and 12 penalty minutes. Uh, obviously on a fourth line, a role. once in a while he'd play up uh, if they had to replace um, someone from an injury or if they, they needed a quick boost, but generally a fourth line player uh, averaging only 10 minutes, 10 and a half minutes of ice time last year. So again, four goals, four assists, eight points in 47 games for the Canucks. This year, he only had a goal, a one goal plus two, 10 minutes of ice time average. He only played in five games. I think it might've been the first five games of the year before he got sent down. I know he was the most impressive player in training camp through the preseason. He was pretty good, but that, that hot start, that impression only lasted so long. And after five games, he was waived and then sent down to Abbotsford. So that is Jet Stagnica. Tries, uh, you know, decent speed, decent size. Um, uh, not not uh, like a true power forward, but he was uh, six foot one, one eighty seven. So um, decent size, and um, and just really not wasn't going to find a place on this team, especially when right now we have guys like Kuzmenko and Di Giuseppe, Suter and Bluger and Joshua and Garland. If the, that's our bottom six, there's no way that Jack Stadnika was going to crack that roster. So he goes to San Jose, and in return, we get Nick Chichik and a six-round pick. Chichik is 23 years old. He is six feet, you know, six feet tall, and so six feet three, so and 201 pounds, so he's Good size, 6'3", 201, shoots left. He was undrafted, so he signed with San Jose as um, a free agent. And he spent the entire season this year in the AHL with the San Jose Barracuda. And so far, he has three points in those 18 games, a goal and two assists and 21 penalty minutes. So not afraid to, to mix it up a little bit, not like a, a bruiser or anything like that. But he's got decent size, and I guess he's picked up a couple penalty minutes along the way. He played for San Jose last year, played in 16 games, and actually had four assists. So that's not bad. That's a point every four games. He had four assists, was minus seven. And in those 16 games, he had 15 penalty minutes. So again, not afraid to, to um, I guess, stand up for teammates or whatever it, is, or whatever it was. And he played 
14 minutes, 14 and a half minutes of ice time last season. So again, with the Sharks last season, he played in 16 games and had four assists. So he's not going to beat out anyone in the top six, not even Mark Friedman or 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 Nora Juleson. So he will go down to Abbotsford to provide some depth. And that's what Patrick Alvin said in the press release. He basically said... Um, we were pleased to add another deaf defenseman for Abbotsford to work with and develop. And like I said, uh, Chichik is only 23 years old, so that's still young, especially in terms of defensemen. And then he also, Patrick Alvin also said, we would like to thank Jack for his time with the Vancouver Canucks. Finally, when we talk about, uh, Chichik's from Winnipeg, by the way. Finally, we talk about this draft pick. And yes, I know that a sixth round pick doesn't sound overly sexy when you say it like that. Well, especially when I say it, but six rounds a draft pick isn't, uh, you know, the most attractive thing, but you got to look at it as an asset, something that you can throw in as a sweetener, maybe to seal a deal, like I said, um, in a trade. So now the Canucks, you look at, for all this talk about Jim Benning, especially bled draft picks, and maybe Rutherford and Alvin weren't afraid to trade draft picks. Well, at least we get one back this time. So next year, the Canucks are looking at having seven picks which is good because you, there's seven rounds. Uh, it's not the most conventional way they got it though. So they for 2024, they still have their first round pick, which is good. They don't have their second round pick anymore because they traded away. Um, <laughs> they traded away with Jason Dickinson for Riley Stillman and Riley Stillman is gone. So that second round pick was traded away in the Jason Dickinson trade. Sorry, the, I should say the Riley Stillman trade. And we traded away a, a Jason Dickinson and a second, but I think that was more about salary, uh, you know, salary room for sure. We still have our original third rounder. We still have our, our original fourth rounder. And we have an additional fourth rounder that we got when we traded Curtis Lazar to the New Jersey Devils. We don't have our fifth rounder. That was traded away with uh, to Toronto for Sam Lafferty. But now we have the sixth rounder from San Jose and we have our original six and seven. So uh, we don't have our second, we don't have our fifth, but we gained a fourth and a sixth. So I guess net, we're a tiny bit worse, but still, we do have seven draft picks for next season. A first, a third, two fourths, two sixths, and a seventh. So that's where we're at with our draft picks. And we'll see if we end up having all seven of them when the draft rolls around next summer. But for now, Jack Savnika goes to the San Jose Sharks. And in return, we get defenseman Nick Chichik and a six-round draft pick in 2024 draft. Canucks fans, let me know about this very minor deal. But uh, tell me if you like it. Tell me if you don't like it. Tell me whatever you feel about it. And if you still have any lingering thoughts from last night, love to hear those in the chat as well. Shout out to my sponsors, Van City Extras Real Estate, Perform and Transform, per Perform and Transform Personal Training Weight Loss. Excuse me. Thank you, Legendary Lucas Gates, Legendary Carol Bovelander, Legendary Andrew Chang, and to Hall of Fame and franchise members as well. Thanks for your support. And to all of you for watching, liking, and subscribing. On your way out, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already like the video leave a donation become a member upgrade your membership and uh, definitely leave a comment as well tell me what you thought think about this minor trade not streaming tonight because it's friday but i will be on game over vancouver tomorrow after the canucks play the minnesota wild and i'll be all four of us me parker sam and kaya on the sdpn channel so i hope you join us tomorrow at the conclusion of the canucks game playing in minnesota going for their fifth straight win. Okay, friends, stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. God bless and go Canucks go.